<clears throat> so now you since you are living in the USA right so how the is the life in the USA so far oh USA is a i would say it has a very friendly open minded uh, society and very accepting society people here uh, are really uh, friendly with you unless you know unless they have unless you really create some trouble <laughs> so usually they are very much friendly and they're open minded and one of the most appreciated uh, qualities of people over here is they do not interfere in other person's life for mm-hmm. any reason no matter and uh, there are clear cut boundaries between students teachers colleagues or uh, neighbors okay. you know and uh, the best best thing i would uh, i have learned from them is to how well you can organize your uh, schedule on a daily basis and that will ensure uh, you have you have a peaceful life you may mm-hmm. not achieve a lot but you in the long run it will keep you healthy and uh, you will uh, you will achieve more than what uh, others would have done without having a plan so how is the expense in the us compared to india right yeah of course uh, it's quite expensive uh, over here compared to india mm-hmm. given the given it's a developed country you get a lot of stuff for free like you know child uh, education for children okay. and stuff like that but till what age till what age or till what is school like class it is free yeah so i'm not sure about the kindergarten uh, stage mm-hmm. but right from grade 1 to 12th okay. you need not uh, bear any expenses for your kids it mm-hmm. will be uh, provided for free from the government of the united states mm-hmm. and, and he, after grade, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i think you can continue yeah so after grade 12th where if you decide or uh, when you decide to go for undergrad or post grad studies mm-hmm. that uh, is totally on you you might get some scholarships on the merit basis but yeah until uh, grade 12th you need not bear uh, any expense the government will bear all the expenses of studies okay. for your kids but yeah other than that there are uh, many uh, things that are very expensive like you know the house you stay mm. like i stay near my university which is like in the heart of one of the most f- uh, famous cities in the world new york city so it's called the uh, upper manhattan and uh, it's quite expensive i we pay around 2900 dollars per month mm-hmm. to stay in the apartment and uh, there's three bhk yeah. kind of thing it's a two two bed apartment okay two bed, <laughs> yeah. bed. Mm-hmm. yeah two bed apartment but yeah uh, everything comes at a cost you know you i i decided to stay close to the university yes. so that i won't uh, have to spend time and money for commute okay so i think as you mentioned that uh, usa have some that education system like till uh, 12 it will be free so right. do they have any uh, health insurance common health insurance for everyone uh unfortunately no they don't have uh, any such thing and the health system here uh, works a uh, pretty weird <laughs> you need to have an insurance mm. and it's expensive you know uh, it's 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 well known that the health uh, system or the health uh, overall how you are you'll be treated here the mm. experience will be good you will be treated really well you will get very good quality uh, treatment but it is expensive and you need to have you need to have an insurance if you are uh, staying in united states if you don't have an insurance you will end up uh, losing all your savings and uh, it can be it can be quite painful for you okay. insurance is a must so what is your future plan now uh probably <laughs> so yeah first thing uh, i'll be working as an intern for in the summer may to mm-hmm. august after the semester okay and uh, so after, which is a compulsory uh, thing and after that i'll have another semester and uh, i 
I'll graduate in December 2023. So post my graduation, I'm planning to work for uh, some time in the United States. I don't have a you know five-year plan or uh, something mm -hmm. like that. But uh, the goal is to uh, gain some exposure to the working environment in mm -hmm. uh, US during the internship and understand how things work and utilize that to uh, you know when I'm when I start working for full time after my graduation and yeah hopefully I'm not sure maybe maybe there is a, a PhD uh, you know target in future I don't know at this point I don't know yeah. that there are a lot of things because age is also a factor to think of mm -hmm. so yeah let's see but yeah for now I plan to uh, work in United States for a few years and try to strengthen my domain uh, knowledge. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the time and wish you all the best in the future. So you can achieve whatever you dream and thank you again. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amles. Uh, thank you so much for uh, having this uh, uh, interview or whatever you want to uh, call it. Well, it was really great talking to you and sharing my experience. It reminds me of uh, when I share my experience, it reminds me of my roots. It makes me more connected to my roots and, you know, motivates me to perform uh, even more every day. And uh, yeah, hopefully things will go in the way we plan. Thank you so much. It was it was really great talking to you. Yeah, thank you. It was nice talking to you to you.